It's finally time for a harvest. Good morning. I am back in New South Wales, back to look after my garden, my chickens, my dogs. Sam's been doing a wonderful job of watering the garden and I am super duper excited because I have broccolis finally. Look at how cute they are. Yay. And not only that, but my corn is officially ready to be harvested. The way that I know that the corn is ready to be harvested is because right here, you can see uh, the stringy stuff on top is starting to die out. And when I peek in, she's yellow. It looks so good and I'm so excited. I know that we're not going to eat a bunch of corn, so I'm only going to pick two for our dinner tonight. I'm gonna have a bit of a Mexican theme since we've got corn and we've got plenty of beans, so I might do a stroganoff with them in the next few days. I'm going to harvest everything I can from the garden today and then I'm going to show you what I've got. I have a feeling this is as big as this guy is going to get. I think it just didn't have enough nutrients to sustain it. We have had so many lemons growing this season that I've been picking them off a bit at a time to encourage the other ones to grow. And I've actually been putting it in a basket out the front of our house so that as our neighbors drive up, they actually come over and grab some of the lemons. It's really nice being able to build such a community with our neighbors and they're so lovely and helpful as well. So it's nice to give back. I mean, we are abundant with lemons. There are so many. I never feel like we're going to run out. All right, I have heaps of lemons so far to put out the front for my neighbors. And I tend to get my own lemons from that basket as well because they ripen a lot quicker in the sun. We've had the most stunning birds consuming these olives for weeks and months, so I think they're ready. I've been waiting for them to half turn black, but I mean, the birds are eating them faster than I can pick them, so I think it's time. Some of them are starting to turn dark, you can see here. They're gorgeous, and so I'm looking forward to having a go at uh, brining these and trying to cure them and see if they turn into really delicious olives. So I'm super excited to try that. I'm also really looking forward to pruning back the olive tree because it's actually shading the fajoa tree underneath it and I love the fajoa fruit. It's um, pineapple guava is another name for it and it's delicious. It's like the perfect combination of sweet and sour and chewy but also firm like it's perfect fruit. So the more sun that that plant gets, the more fruit it's going to have in that next season because I think we actually, we missed out this time round. Everyone is working hard today. These beans are massive. The best thing about organic gardening and having your own garden right in front of your door is anytime you feel hungry, you can just have an instant snack. Mm. So good. So many beans. All right, so let's check some of these corns. I already know one is perfectly ripe and I'll pick it in a second, but I'll show you guys how I check them uh, to figure out if they're good or not. It's super duper dry on top. And when I peek in, look at how yellow it is. So I'm going to pick that one before any of the other creatures can get to it. Look at that, it's massive. Oh, I'm so excited. Little corn. I'm going to say that one's ready. Oh. Look at the sun. Beautiful. We only need two. I can leave the rest to keep ripening until they're ready too. Like I've got a funky looking cucumber left here. 
I want to see how these carrots are doing. These ones here have a bit of brown on top. I'm just going to pull them and see how we're going. Oh, they're so little and cute. I might let that grow a little longer. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he looks so big too. I accidentally pulled the top off without the carrot. I might dig down for it. Let's do this one as well. Ah, oh, I did it again. Ooh, look at him. He's a great looking carrot. And a little tiny one. I've accidentally taken his top off, so I guess he's coming with us. Instead of actually pulling them straight out, I can probably look at them by digging down a bit. Okay. You can grow a bit more. Let's do this one. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Does that mean they're not ready? This one actually has two others right next to it, so I'm a little nervous to get it out. I think I'll leave the rest of the carrots to do their thing for now and I'll just go with this. The greens I have shared, we kind of pick them as we go. I am going to pick a few so that they're sitting in the fridge. When you grow without any pesticides or chemicals, you do end up with little bite marks and you're usually fighting some kind of caterpillar like I have been with my broccoli. But it's not a big deal, you just wash them off and it's okay. I would much rather have little holes in my lettuce knowing that it's completely free of pesticides and chemicals that I don't actually know how they're affecting my body than perfect lettuce that has no holes but is full of other chemicals and things that are going to make me sick one day. Maybe I'll make a salad tonight, so this is probably a good idea. Another great thing about having your own garden, you're not limited to eat only what's at the stores, like one kind of potato and one kind of onion and one type of carrot. You can really be creative with what you plant into your garden. And I think I'll be a bit more adventurous next season, but you can really find some great varieties that you would never, ever, ever find in a store. All right, I've got a cute, a good little harvest so far. Let's go see if there's any tomatoes or zucchinis that are ready as well. Are you being a good boy? Such a good boy. You wanna come over? Come on. It's such a beautiful day and what a pleasant way to spend it, picking veggies and looking after the garden. It's so peaceful and so, so rewarding. Oh my God, my tomatoes are huge. Still green. Look at that guy. Wow. Oh wow. You're massive. You guys have gone bad. Look at that guy. Wow. Blossoms are also really delicious from zucchini, so I'm gonna get those as well. Only a few because I want to make sure bugs can still get to all my other ones. Only one zucchini, but a few little flowers that we can fill and then deep fry. Yum. So far I have an amazing harvest. I'm actually super duper excited because I didn't expect to have so much. It probably seems like such a small amount compared to what other people have, especially with really big thriving gardens, but I'm super excited. Keep in mind you guys that this is the very first garden we've ever had, ever grown. We're still working the soil so it's not as nutritious as it could be. We've made sure not to spray anything. Oh, and the cucumbers I've already harvested about like I'd say 20 to 30 and we just ate them as they became ripe. So I'm sorry I didn't show you those. Let me show you everything that I got from my garden today. So I've got some zucchini flowers, zucchini, only one, a few different kinds of garden leaves, carrot tops, as well as a few little carrots, the weirdest little cucumber you'll ever see. There's one left, two heads of corn and I'll open them up. Oh my God, look at that. It looks so good. And a bunch of beans. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay. I did almost forget to share all of my olives as well. I was able to get about half the bucket or maybe like a third. Got those and of course, all of the lemons in the world <laughs> that you could ever ask 
for plenty of those to put out the front for the neighbors and this is just in our very first year of homesteading our gardens aren't even built up yet we've had absolutely no experience and a lot of the time i'm just kind of guessing and going by intuition and how i feel so this is incredible so i really do encourage you if you haven't already started gardening it really is the most sustainable way to source your own food even if it is just for one or two meals it's lots of fun and well worth it Ladies are busy. <laughs> as far as we can tell, these guys aren't laying just yet. Uh, other than Musha. Hakia and Spotty Gum, the red one, are getting massive though, so I don't think they're far off from laying. But yeah, as for now, no eggs. Such a good boy. I didn't harvest any herbs because, I mean, I've got it right in front of me here. The parsley is doing so well. The chives aren't doing bad either. The coriander has started to come up a lot more, which is good. Again, I have no idea what this plant is. I'm waiting to figure it out. As I said, the basil got eaten, which I'm so frustrated about, but what can you do? Mm. 